Extra, extra! Look at what you've done! Welcome, sir. I do hope you enjoy yourself. Enjoy the evening, sir. There is still plenty of time before the grand finale. All right. What if I write an article about these people here? Can you help me gather information about Cordona's elite? Do you know what was here before Manchiosa's family bought it? was here before Manch... Do you know what was here before Manchiosa's family? what was here before Manchiosa's family bought it. Mm. 
That's what I like about this party. Bring me more dirt, Sherry. One more piece and I can expose these base hedonists. Curtains do not guarantee privacy. And you still need a crack despite being ethereal. Well-known and recent plays to keep up to date with the current trends. These medieval botany and chemistry books look even more satanic than the occult ones. Romantic poetry and prose. Someone's in touch with their feelings. Codex Orcus. Why does this occult book sound like a flower? <laughs> My goodness, Sherlock, they made a blood fountain. No, John, it's definitely not blood, just wine. Gahore, is it a guess? I guarantee we'll have a good time. <laughs> Nancio's had to enforce the masks after the scandal. Nancho's had to enforce... <laughs> Nancho's had to enforce the mask. Nancho's had to inf- I'll pin them down with this scoop. Thank you, Sherlock. Honey, you feeling lonely? I'll be your friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Sherlock, friend, I wasn't sure you'd come. Werner, I uh, see you are not yourself. The more time you spend here in Cordona, the more I feel it my duty to bring you into our world and show you all we have to offer. And what is on offer today? Pleasure, indulgence, relief, and relaxation. You've earned some time for yourself, have you not? Those who know me would say I'm incapable of it. <laughs> Nonsense. I refuse to believe there is anyone permitted to know Sherlock Holmes. Huh. You may be right. Then free yourself from inhibition and expectation. The night is young, and so are the guests. You should try to enjoy both. It's not healthy for handsome men to spend every night alone, and certainly not in a house filled with such melancholic memories. I must admit, my travels have proven more taxing than expected. I'm less confident in my life and myself. A time of relaxation seems a distant dream. So can I tempt you with a physical aid to your moral consolations? There's wine, of course, and something to smoke, or perhaps an artificial paradise? Yes, something more spiritual, a potentiator to sharpen the mind. A 7% solution of, well, that'd be telling, but you must try it. My mind already operates at a far higher level than most. I struggle to believe anything could improve it. My ultimate duty is to provide the world with truth, and I do that perfectly well as is. Beauty? You've never cared about that before. Of course I do. Exposing a lie, revealing a fact, that is a moral responsibility. <laughs> That's not morality. Morals are what happens afterwards when truth collides with consequence. Do you ever follow up on cases you solved? Do you ever see what happened next? Visit the victims? Ensure justice is served in the courts? And how do you choose where to direct your attention? Are there not deserving causes to which your brilliance could be applied but isn't? You ascribe me more power than I possess. I have a narrow skill set and work within that mandate. What occurs afterward is irrelevant. With every action or inaction, you place a finger on the scales of morality. Many in the city would see you as abdicating your responsibility. I, I haven't. Not me, of course. Morality is subjective, just like truth. There is little to be gained from indulging in it, and far better things to indulge in. Now I must insist on easing any burdens I've placed upon your shoulders. Show yourself a kindness, and try this rather delectable concoction. I am perfectly capable of coping with myself without medical assistance. Then I shall press you on it no further. But please, do not refuse my gift. Take it with you, as a souvenir of this special night. Souvenir of what, exactly? But, all right, if only to put the matter to bed. And now, our evening begins in earnest. <laughs> I just remembered. I'm sorry, Sherlock. My mind's delightfully impaired. Please take this key. It opens the altar room, past the library. Pardon? Altar room? What now, Werner? Go quickly and find our Fabio. Only you can make him talk. I'll join you in a minute. <laughs> I need a rest from my insatiable wife. I've worked up an appetite since the last party. Let me see that stallion up close. Ha <laughs> ha 
Ogle's gallery has a backer, I see. Was he here this whole time? This crude tattoo partially covers a slave branding. This golden handle has a blood stain on it. The dagger is heavy and sharp, but lacks balance. This worm-like sigil has been drawn with his own blood. A blunt force trauma may have suffered an internal hemorrhage. The victim has clenched the fabric so firmly in his fist that it's nigh impossible to remove it. The wound is deep. A precise strike reached the heart. He died right here. The herbs here are salvia divinorum. They have a slight hallucinogenic effect to emphasize the ceremony. This elaborate box must be for the ritual dagger. This oil has a slight aroma of flowers and olive. The ointment smells mouse-like. I presume it is an aphrodisiac prepared from a Spanish fly. This one looks like a twisted symbol of Venus drawn in a hurry. The sign reminds me of the astrological symbol for Mars. Enough cigars to burn down the entire mansion. Why don't people tidy up after themselves? An open wound spoiled the carpet. Blood. A sturdy bottle met a not so sturdy human. It didn't break only because it was unopened. What about a quick pillow fight? 